Hello, hi, welcome back. Um, to those of you who have been with us all day, thank you so much for sticking with us. We've enjoyed going on this journey with you. If you're just joining for this one first time, thank you for joining. You can go back and look at what you um, missed out so far on the day on our YouTube channel. But right now, we're gonna be doing a final phrase. So I should introduce myself. I am Laura Jones and I am Head of Talent Development at Stopgap Dance Company. I am a white female with brunette hair tied back. I'm in a, now I'm in a t-shirt with a kind of smudgy butterfly on the front and I'm in my wheelchair. So we're gonna do um, a little bit of a warm up just in case this is the first session that you've joined for a little bit of a warm up to get us moving. And then, as I said, we're gonna do a um, phrase and we're gonna, I'm gonna use a few things to help us with this phrase. I'm gonna use open language. I'm gonna use some textures and I'm gonna use some imagery. Um, open language is something that we use quite a lot in Stopgap as it enables everyone to join in at their own level and no matter what movement they have available. Um, you might have heard Floyd mentioning it in the interview with the filmmaker. And yeah, it's something we use a lot. Also textures, there is when our seeds and groundwork video go out, there is also a textures seed. So if that's something that interests you or you'd like to learn more about and work with, then head over to that one when it's available. Um, yeah, and just to explain like what we mean by open language, it's, for example, instead of saying um, everyone walk around the room or run around the room, we might say everyone move around the room, everyone shift, everyone dart, everyone strut. So not only does it enable and it doesn't exclude for those who maybe don't have that particular movement available to them, but it also adds an extra layer of detail, maybe an extra bit of quality or a texture or an intention. So it, it adds something more as well as being um, more accessible for everyone. So we're gonna get going and I'm just gonna move you down. I think, actually, can I? Uh, no, actually, I think we'll stay at that height. I was gonna shift my computer down, but I think we're all right. Let me just push you back a little bit. There we go. Hopefully you can see all of me and hopefully you can hear me. So we're gonna do a, we're gonna start with a very brief warm up and I'm gonna use the texture of stir. So I'm not just thinking circles. I could just draw circles with different body parts, but that doesn't have a quality to it. So the quality I want is stir. So like you're stirring honey or toffee, or maybe it's a little bit early to be stirring our Christmas pudding right now. Um, actually, maybe it's not, I don't know, you make it in advance. Anyway, you're stirring something and there's that bit of resistance. So let's just uh, take that bit of, get my music ready. Okay. And turn it up a little bit. Ooh, wrong direction. Say. Okay. So finding yourself, finding your neutral working position, whatever that is for you. And you can start really small, finding some small stirs. So maybe that's a wrist. Maybe it's just your nose, your ankle, your ribs. But thinking about that resistance, sending a stirring journey all through the body. Doesn't matter what you do, finding a stir. You can think stirring down low or up high, any way you like. Let's say it can be small, it can be big. Just to get us moving and thinking about this quality of movement, might move you in the space. Lovely. And quick as you can with your 
your stirs, keeping that tension for five, four, three, two, one. Lovely, excellent. So that was just a very brief, very brief warm up to get us ready. Now just remember as well, Hannah's introduction, she gave us some top tips. So make sure you've got plenty of space, as much space as you've got available to you, that you're wearing some nice comfortable clothes and also you've got your water. I'm gonna have a quick swig. So now we're gonna do the phrase and it's gonna start with stirring. It's, and then we're gonna have three stirs. So two small and then one big. If you want, you can do your own version. You can use whatever body part you want. If you're sort of feeling that you're not being quite as creative today and you want to copy exactly what I'm doing, that's also fine. If you want to set it, brilliant. If, if you're not feeling like setting it and you just want to make a new one each time, that's also fine. So we have our stirs. I'm going to go shoulder first, a small one. Then I'm going to go with my ribs, a small one. And then I'm going to do a big one with my arm from front to back. So that's my three stirs, small one, small two, big three, four. One more time. We have a small one, small two, big three and four. Lovely. Then we're going to have a little rock, um, a little kind of rock and back. My one, I'm going to go rock forwards and back. You might choose to go side. You might find it in your lower body, wherever that is, a rock and back. So we have that on. We have stir one, two, big stir, three, four, rock five and six. Excellent. The next move is a swivel. So I'm going to turn a quarter turn to my side, but instead of turning everything in one go. It's gonna be like a little uh, sequential, maybe like ringing out of a, uh, a flannel or something. I'm gonna swivel to the side. Yep, so find whatever your swivel is. Find a little bit of a sequence so one body part arrives before the rest. So from the top, we have stir, Stir, big stir, three, four, rock, five, six, swivel, seven, eight. One more time. That is stir, stir, big stir, rock forwards and back and swivel. I said forwards and back. You might be doing it in a different direction. So next I'm going to do a scoop. And I'm going to do, for me, mine is going to be a big scoop with the arm towards the front, towards my screen. Yours might be in a different direction. But we're going to do a big scoop. One, two. And then I'm going to do a dive. So I'm thinking of diving forwards with my nose. Three, four. As I dive forwards with my nose, that my hand is going to dive behind as well. So that's diving for three and four. So that uh, little bit, we have scoop one and two, dive three, four. Excellent. Let's, let's go from the top. We have stir, two, three, four, rock five, six, swivel, seven, eight. We scoop one, two, dive three, four. Excellent. Then I'm going to do a turn but it's not just any turn. I'm gonna think about pinning something to the front diagonal corner. And I'm gonna pin with my eyes, with my um, vision, and you might, or my, my eye line, you might think about pinning something else. You might leave an elbow there. You might leave your foot there, leaving something behind and then trying to keep it there as long as you can before you arrive at that corner. So that is, like I say, your, Leaving a body part there, turn, 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 turn. And you've got four counts to do that. If you get there a little bit sooner, that's okay. You can just find a little bit of a suspend before the next move. If you take more than four counts, that's also fine. 
you can catch up. From the top, we have stir, stir, big stir, three, four, five, six, swivel, seven, eight, scoop, one, two, dive, three, four, pin and turn, five, six, if you get there, suspend, seven, eight, one more time. We go, stir, stir, big, stir, rock, rock, swivel, scoop, dive, pin, turning around. So like I said, if you're not quite there yet, it's okay because the next move is on the spot. Some of you might have seen a picture I posted of this little fella. So the next move, I'm thinking about this little chap. You know how these, it's like the little toys with the suction at the bottom and you press it down and it suctions down and then you leave it and it pops and it's probably not going to do it, but I'll leave it there for a minute. So thinking about that squeezing down, maybe you might imagine someone's hands pressing you down, suctioning down to the floor or wherever your base is, and then you have the pop. I think he's camera shy, he's not gonna do it. But you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, he'll I do a little bit of a, a pop. He's probably gonna pop now when, uh, when I don't want it, but I'll put it in there. So you have that squeeze down, squeeze down and pop up. So find whatever that is for you, squeeze down and, and pop up. Excellent. Uh, so that's one, two, up, three, four, then five, six. We're gonna have a big stretch out, stretch five, six, and then like a crumple in for seven, eight however you want to crumple, like you're scrunching up foil. So that is from the squeezy bit. We squeeze down, one, two, pop, three, four, stretch, five, six, crumple, seven, eight. Fantastic, let's go from the top. So we have our stirs, one, two, big stir, three, four, rock, five, Six, swivel, seven, eight, scooping, one, two, diving, three, four, turning, five, six, seven, eight, squash down, one, two, pop, three, four, stretch, five, six, crumple, seven, eight. We're going to add on a little bit more. I hope you're doing okay. Hope you're doing okay. So from here, I'm thinking it's a little bit like um, you know, tennis players, when they're waiting for the other one to serve and they have like this little bounces, little shift side to side. So they're like ready, it's that like getting ready, kind of revving the motor movement. So we've had our crumple in and you have little shift one and two. Yeah, little, little bounce, let's call that. One and two. Before we then, we're gonna take a, a shift or a Surge backwards, just checking that there's nothing behind you. Um, take a surge back, there we go. And for me, as I do it, as I pull back and release my wheels, I then let my hands drift forwards in front of me. So that is our little uh, bounces. One and two, surge back, three, four, lovely. And then we're gonna have find a suspend moment. So I'm going into a little wheelie and I'm reaching, ooh, carefully, reaching, reaching for five, six, seven, and I come back upright on eight, nice and sharp. That little bit from we've done our pop, our stretch and our crumple. Then we have our little bounces, one and two, surge back, three, four, Stretch and suspend, five, six, seven, eight. Lovely, we've got just eight counts left, but I think we should go from the top. So let's see, we're gonna start with our stirs. We go one, two, big stir, three, four, rock, five, six, swivel, seven, eight, scooping one, 
two diving, three, four turning, five, six, seven, eight, squish down, one, two, hop, three, four, stretching, five, six, crumple, seven, eight, bouncing, one, and two, surge back, three, four, stretching, five, six, seven, drop. Nice. I think we'll do that one more time before we add on the last eight. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying it. Little side note, we would love to see these. So if you can, like when you've got to the end, video it um, and then send it to us via social media because I'd love to see all the different variations. Okay, let's go again. We go. Stir one, stir two, stir three, four, rock five, six, swivel, seven, eight, scoop one, two, dive three, four, turning five, six, seven, eight, squash down one, two, pop, three, four, bounce five, six, oh no, stretch five, six, crumple, seven, eight, bounce one, and two, back three, four, reaching five, six, seven, eight. How did you do? Hopefully you remembered the stretching that I forgot. Um, right, we are short of time. Oh, I think I'm just getting uh, three minutes left. Okay, right. So the very last bit, we've done our stretch, our suspend down. We're gonna do two stirs to tear up, turn ourselves around. Stir one, two, three, four, to find another diagonal. Then we're gonna do an inversion. So it's sort of like tipping ourselves up. It could be really big, like a handstand, if you have space, if you can. Um, might be like a little bunny hop. I'm pressing into the front of my chair, send my hips up. So I go down and up. Then the very final count, the last eight, what else can you do when you've only got one count left of a phrase, but strike a pose. So it could be anything you like. You could make it cheesy. You can make it cool. That's not me. Thumbs, star, whatever you like. Strike a pose. I'm going to go for a wheelie, wheelie for the last count. So that last bit is we had our suspend and down. We stir one, two, three, four. Inversion, five, six, seven, hit the pose, eight. Brilliant, let's go. Let's go through it with the music, I reckon. I reckon we've got this. I'm sure you've got it. Okay, I just have to switch over. And I think I just shall turn it up a little bit. Come on, play. <laughs> Hopefully that's a good level. Hopefully you can hear that all right. If you can, if you can, 
hear yourself so we can see it. That's brilliant. Right. Ready. Here we go. Final time. Off we go. One, two, three, four. Drop and swivel. Open one. after that i hope you enjoyed it well done so thank you so much for joining just to say one last thing we have left is reset to rest with tom so if you want to find that click back on the stopgap logo we'll take you back to our channel you might need to scroll down in the home practice playlist and find that uh, yes thank you very much for watching and we will see you soon